Hello fellow peasants. Today I'll be talking about Scream 7. What I want it to be, what it needs to be, or nothing else. Okay guys, so Scream 7. Uh, it was kind of in the works until Melissa Barrera got fired, and then um, Jenna Ortega stepped out. She says due to scheduling conflicts, I think she kind of like wasn't super into it anyway. Um, that's the latest I've heard. So the production is just kind of in shambles at this point. I also saw something online about could Scream 7 be about Sydney Prescott and her husband? And that got me thinking, well, that would be something I would probably watch. So I, I'm going to preface this video real quick with, and I've said this before on the channel, but in case you guys haven't seen those videos or you're new to the channel, I only like Scream 1, 2, and 3. Anything past Scream 3, in my opinion, is not needed, and it's dog shit. Now, are they horrible movies? No, they're decent slashers, but they're not needed. I, I don't care how good they are. It's not needed. It was wrapped up. It was done. That's where I wanted it to be. I, wanted, I want Sydney's story to end at her leaving the door open at the house at the end of three, looking at the door. She thinks, wait a minute, I should have locked that. Someone's going to walk in here and fucking kill me. But then she thinks, no, it's over. It's done. She's not scared anymore. And then it cuts to credits. Perfect ending for Sydney's character. Perfect ending. Um, but as we know... Uh, 11 years later, they put out Scream 4. Then, uh, 10 years later, they put out, or another 11 years later, they put out Scream 5. Then one year after that, they put out Scream 6. So, they're going to keep going. And at this point, in terms of the franchise outstaying its welcome, the franchise has shit the bed. In terms of overall quality of the films, it has not shit the bed. Scream has yet to have its Halloween 5, its Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, it has yet to have a, a complete and utter dog shit sequel in terms of quality. But in terms of, is it necessary? And in terms of, are we tired of this shit? Yeah, the franchise has shit the bed. And for me, and I, I have not needed a Scream film past the year 2000. Um, that being said, now you know how I feel about all the Scream sequels past Scream 3. That being said, I have also stated that I don't think Stu should come back. Because nowhere in the previous sequels have they mentioned Stu Mocker having had a court trial, having been in prison. He was never one of the suspects in Scream 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. None of those films was he mentioned because they would have known if Stu was alive. There would have been court cases. There would have been, he would have been incarcerated. Some Something would, probably would have been mentioned if Stu was alive. It would have made sense in the writing of those sequels for them to put in like, well, maybe... Stu could be it, you know. He could have been a red herring. He could have been mentioned at all, but he wasn't. So in my opinion, Stu is fucking dead. And it'd be shitty, horrible writing to bring Stu back in any of these films. But that being said, because in my opinion, I haven't given a fuck about the Scream franchise since Scream 3. Why not? Why the fuck not? I mean, really? Like, 
just out of pure morbid curiosity and entertainment, let's bring Stu back, right? Let's not really have, let's have some BS excuse. Let's let's do a, a bullshit slasher, bring them back excuse for why they're back and have him go after Sydney, her kid, and her husband, Patrick Dempsey. I think that would be a smaller, more intimate uh, film. I think that's something, that's the only way you're gonna get my ass back in the movie theater to watch another Scream film. So let's just go there. Let's just be ridiculous. Let's get Stu back in it. Let's get Sydney back in it again. Let's get her husband in it. Um, let's just have Stu come back for whatever reason he's chosen to come back this late in the game, 26, 27 years after the fact. And now he wants to kill Sydney and he wants to get revenge on her family. That's something that I would be like, this is so, this is just so fucking stupid and ridiculous. But you know what? We, we got some heavyweights in here. We got Sydney Prescott back as the main actress. She's not going towards the drama. The drama's coming to her because Stu's coming back for one last fucking hurrah. He wants to kill her. And I think that that would be, even though it'd be ridiculous, you, there's just no explaining how he'd come back that would be believable to me. But at this point in the franchise, whatever, fuck it. Bring him back. Let's just have one final showdown between Stu and Sydney, and let's uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I, and, and 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 if it's not this, I don't want anything else. I don't want anything else. I don't want uh, some family member from the last three films coming back to get revenge. I don't want none of that shit. Bring back Stu. Let's, let's just get ridiculous with it. Bring back Stu. Bring back Sydney. Have Stu try to kill her fucking family. And uh, let's just go out with a bang that way. In the Scream franchise. In the Scream franchise. On that note. And uh, one, it'd be... <laughs> it would be fucking... Uh, fan service from hell. During the reveal that it's Stu Mocker at the end of Scream 7. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it would be unreal. But anyway, guys, uh, that's my thoughts. That's the only way I would really care to watch another Scream film. At least in terms of going to the movie theater. I'll sit, I'll sit on my ass at home and watch anything. But in terms of going to the, you know, it, the way, to get me to go to the movies and drop money on one of these again, like I did the last couple, I, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to see Stu go after Sydney again and it just be a complete and utter shit show. Okay. Um, and I think that, I think the franchise is at that point right now in terms of outstaying its welcome. It's like, let's just go there. Let's just do it. Let's be ridiculous. And, um, yeah, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that Stu Mocker should come back and try to kill Sidney Prescott and her kid and her and her cop husband. Uh, and, uh... Because, hey, Patrick Dempsey did a damn good job in Thanksgiving. Um, I really liked him in that. So, br bring his ass back. He did a really good job. All right, peasants, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this shit I'm talking about. All right, guys, have a good one, peasants. Peace out. Bye-bye.